Hi, it's Jody from Arjet Creations. I thought I'd just make a little bit of a tutorial here on how to make these double pockets. This is a take on Gail's triple pockets, so I will let you know what that video is at the end of this video. Um, I did have some questions when I posted them, so I thought I would just do it this way. So these are the three pockets that I made. These are just double pockets and I've just decorated them up. I haven't completely uh, finished stuffing them or anything, but uh, they're very quick to make. I made all these three probably in about an hour yesterday. Um, I also did make this little one here, and I thought that it would look cute on a tag. So I changed things up just slightly from, from Gail's video, so I'm gonna walk you through those steps and uh, we'll go from there. Before I go on, I should show you the size. These uh, measure approximately one, two, three, four and a half by five and a half. And I've created those pockets with an eight and a half by 11 sheet. You can make it with any type of sheet that you have. So this one's eight and a half by 11. So to start, we're going to take it and we're going to fold it lengthwise. and just make a crease down this side. You can use your bone folder if you like. And then you are going to fold it up again. And again, just give it a little bit of a crease. To make your first pocket, you're gonna take the first layer and you are going to fold it down. Line it up with the side and then crease it. Here's where I differ a little bit from what Gail did. And what I've been doing is I've been opening it back up, flipping the paper over and tucking that fold in. And then folding it back up. And then it gives you a solid piece on the front. And then I just continue with Gail's instructions by folding this down lining it up to the size of the pocket you want and then folding it again. So that's going to give you your basic pocket. You have one here, you have one here, and then you can have your tuck wherever you would like. What I did at this point is I then went and I inked all of my edges. And so if I put that aside, I've got one here that I've done. So here's one, I've done the pockets on the opposite side on this one, and I've just inked along the edges. And when you open it up, you'll notice that I inked this area and this area as well, so that it didn't show the white that you can see in this one. So that's what I did there. And then after that, you can, you have, you can do one of two things. You can either glue down this side and this side, and then down this flap. Or you can do what I've done, which is stitch around the outsides. And once you've stitched them, then they're pretty solid. And with the four layers of paper, they've, they've got some firmness to them. So after you get to this point, then it is just fun for the decorating. So I, Pull out a few things. For this one, what I was thinking I might do once I stitch it is maybe add some of these flowers to it or possibly some of these fun butterflies. I'd also have the choice if I wanted to do something more a little vintagey, I can put some of my postage stamps there. So I'll play with that one uh, off camera. This one, I thought I might go and do something a little bit different than I've done, and that is pull out some stuff I had from when I used to scrapbook. So I found this little cute kitten, cat um, sticker set. So I'm thinking that I'm probably just going to do something pretty simple and just put that on. 
and I'll likely put some lace along the edge. Oops. Um, I'd like to use some more of this lace that I used on my other pockets, but I just don't have quite enough. This one is uh, coffee dyed. It's actually bright white, so I can I can go pull out my bright white and see if it's work or or coffee dye it, or I'll maybe just see if this one here will work. And it it doesn't look too bad. So I would just glue this down, tape it up. Uh, sorry, trim off the edges, and I've basically got the outside of my pocket. And then you have the fun part of stuffing it with all your tags or journaling cards or anything else that you'd like to put in. So that's my take on Gail's double pocket. Um, if you'd like to look up her video, her view video is really, really good. She goes into much more depth uh, and shows you different patterns. She uses book pages. It's really good. And again, her name is Gail. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. I think it's Agostinelli. And the video I'm speaking about is the tutorial Craft With Me Triple Pockets. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you uh, get the chance to go watch Gail's. Thank you.